Frank sent me the rocky landing, and I loved it. And because both of his paintings to me are about both ends of life, the beginning of life and the end of life, that I chose to make Rocky Landing about the end of, of the lifetime. Sitting across from you, my dearest friend on earth, we talk about the years we've shared and what we've seen. Your laughter makes me smile as sunshine lights your face. It always feels like we've gone back to being teens. Our pond has dried up, exposed rocks now line the shore. Time slipped by unnoticed, yet we still learn, yearn for more. Our lives felt mighty when the water touched the grass. Landing boats was simple <clears throat> when we had strength and mass. The sun is setting low and darkening skies give birth to newborn shadows that protect our weary eyes. But words can't hold back time and we're at steady pace to reach the rocky landing of our last goodbye. Uh, that's obviously a painting of uh, some people in, in a boat, and they're headed to a shore, and the shore is kind of rocky. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> that was a painting actually I, I did uh, on location some, some years ago. But picked up, uh, seemed to be the right kind of painting for the right kind of verbiage. <laughs> uh, um, so, anyway, uh, <clears throat> It's, uh, you can look at it a lot of different ways. You can look at it as just a nice painting of a particular place. And you can look at it as uh, people not really knowing what they want to do, but doing something that they do do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, uh, that's what I get out of it. That's what I meant for it to be. The next painting that Frank did is the baby, and it came from my poem first, and so he created a painting to go with the poem. A tiny child, all full of smiles, escaped one early morn. His sagging diaper was the only nightwear he had worn. Such early dawn, the birds were just awakening from rest. The human child at play disturbed the silence in their nests. His large blue eyes looked everywhere as early fog grew dim. A brand new world to such young eyes, the daybreak, life in him. A high-pitched giggle rose above the sleepy, yawning birds. A nearby mother sparrow sang to him in lilting words. An earthworm tunneled, exiting the earth by his small feet. His chubby fingers reached and missed the object he would eat. Excitedly, he ran about, the wind racing his toes. He whirled and danced beneath the sun, which warmed his nose. So full of joy, he had no bounds. His diaper fell to earth. His tribal dance was primitive, a legacy from birth. Alas, the celebration was cut short, to say the least. Chastised, he was returned inside without his primal feast. Very nice. Um, well, obviously, we can see what uh, is going on there. The little boy with his uh, diapers on and uh, out in the uh, outside, found himself a bird, which he obviously enjoyed looking at and I look at that that's pretty much what the poem is about but I look at it as youth youth and uh, learn, learning more about you know things that he hasn't really learned about yet um, and so therefore um, it's uh, he's not supposed to be where he is <laughs> And he's not supposed to be, well, in this case, he still has his diaper sets. <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> uh, and, uh, <clears throat> but um, he's out there actually finding out some things about nature and life, uh, and uh, it's all news to him. So that's what that was all about. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.